Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking our first look at Upper Mississippi River Valley, aka UMRV 4X by DJ Modding. It's important to note that this is a PC only map and it's not even going to be going to mod up for a release. It is a fictional four kilometer by four kilometer, aka a 4X map based in the northeast region of Iowa and is considered to be one of the most popular maps in farming simulator history. This map features a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, for example, it's got a corn dryer which is built into the map right in front of us. This produces dry corn from regular corn. However, you will need to buy it first. There's also a custom harvest store which is also built into the map and produces silage from grass and chaff. Again, this is something you'll need to buy first. There's also many things which may not be completely suitable for all platforms on here. For example, whiskey, beer, wine, ethanol, chips, soy milk, pasta, oat milk, and uh, they are all custom productions here included on the map. The map's also got two new crops. We've got alfalfa and clover, which can be mown as grass and baled. You can also use it as food for your animals. Likewise, corn and soybeans now output corn stalks and bean straw, which can be baled and sold for some extra money. We also have a custom geo, which is built in with corn and soybeans being planted in the spring and harvested in the winter. And there are additional painting bits right here that could be found in in your painting menu. There's so many in here. Did I mention there's a plane? This is the first map I've had to deal with with a plane. Get out of here, planes! There's also a custom lighting engine. There's orange sunrises and sunsets and very dark nights. In total, we have 63 different arable lands ranging from medium to large and a few meadows as well. However, if you're used to a standard one or a two kilometer map or a 1x map, if you want to call it that, well, um, they're all large and extra large. <laughs> they're massive. There's also some custom grain bins that have been added across multiple different farms on the map, and you will need augers to dump the grains in. And how about this? We've got some custom license plates as well. It's awesome. In total, all around around the map we have seven custom built farms with nine dairy barns and three pig styes in total um, however to use all of these you will need to buy the land to own them additionally we've also got an hydrous ammonia which has been added as a new fertilizer type and there's not one but two different fire stations that have been added to the map with animated doors so you guys can do role player whatever you want one really nice thing is every single farm has a fuel trigger on it so you're not going to need to go anywhere else for it however there are no sleep triggers this way you can place down your own wherever you would like for the john deere fans out there we have a john deere dealership on the map as well as a bulk feed shop for buying seeds lime herbicide fertilizer and hydras and you can even buy propane if you like doing chaff but you really hate making silage well good thing for you guys there's an added sell point for chaff for those of you that don't want to mess with making silage dj modding says that he doesn't really like it and one of the great things is you've got well three different fermenting silos plus you could send it on your goldcrest valley and you've got the mineral feed and seed as well as Rudy's feed store, which is right here. Lastly, we've got multi-terrain angle, which has been added to the map using 32 different angles all together. And the map is completely error free and long and just a few little warnings, which he says are completely harmless. So that's all my talking points. Let's have a little bit of fun and check out some places around the map itself. So this is your PDA. If you jump into new farmer mode, you're going to be getting these areas right here, 28, 29, at 30. These are uh, three fields total, plus we've got our main farm down here, which does include a dryer as well as a fermenting silo. So your main farm does start with those things. Actually, a pretty decent farm setup to start with. Ooh. That is rusty and loud. Let's get away from that. We've also got areas for animals and things like that here too. Uh, it is not as small as it appears on the PDA. You've got a pretty massive area right here for New Farmer. Of course, all of his release partners and stuff like that are showing off all through the bottom. So you've got that there as well. Plus, I mean, look at that. Things I go have on there right there. I love it. On the PDA as well, you can see his FS19 maps there. We got DJ Modding across the top. And then all of the credits for people that helped out with everything there on the right-hand side as well. Um, he's done a really good job of making sure that credits are given. Uh, DJ Modding is a very humble, very cool dude. 
So I just want to thank him for being able to show you guys this in general. As for everything else, on the right hand side of the map, you probably know this is fairly wide open. We do have plenty of rolling hills. This is not a flat map by any stretch of the imagination. As we mentioned, we've got seven different farms all spread around. You've got very high areas like up here and then very low areas like over here near the Mississippi River itself. Plus across the river, we've got more areas there. And all throughout, you're gonna find plenty of spots. Now there's a lot of YouTubers that have already released videos on this and Twitch streamers that have done some stuff. So I highly recommend that you check out as many videos on this map as you possibly can. That way you get a full sense of just how number one massive this uh, map is, but also how great it is to have it back in Farm Sub 22. Most all of your cell points and productions and stuff like that are gonna be located along the river. So you've got all your stuff here. We have Fronzy Winery, Providence Grain, places like that. We've got plenty of stuff for the trains, as you guys saw earlier. Train does come through, which is very cool and very nice, but a lot of different places to sell stuff. A lot of production points on the map as well. Uh, there's just plenty for literally everybody here. We've also got some extra areas as well that you could buy. Of course, you can see here for $3.1 million, you could buy the entire bank side if you would prefer, and you can even buy the river for $2 million and a lot of extra areas as well. This is another area that I thought was really, really cool. Let's head down there. So down at the south end of the map, you guys are gonna find this area right in here, which just goes in and about. You can get in here, do some logging if you would like, but these trees really are not set up for logging. This is more of just a fun area that you can travel in and out of. And also I'm going eight times normal speed. Usually when I'm doing flyovers, I only do, uh, uh, well, no, sorry, 20 times. Normally I do eight. So we are booking it pretty quick on here. Tell you what, if you guys are ready to play on UMRV on PC, well, I think we are very, very close to seeing it. One other thing that I'm really happy about is DJ Mining has allowed you to buy the entire map. There is no place on here that is impurchasable. So everything is there. And then once you bought all of your areas, you can actually see here all of the farm areas pop up. Of course, we've got area right here, the Valley Bluff Farm there down here. We've got another farm and then we've got more farms over here and over down here. Plenty for everybody, really. Really, truly, plenty for everybody on this map. So this video is really just meant to be a bit of a teaser for you guys. Get you hyped to get you excited for UMRV to be released, hopefully very soon, uh, by DJ Modding for Farm Sim 22. Again, this is going to be a PC-only map. This is not going to be going to Mod Hub. This is not going to be coming to consoles. Um, we've got a great relationship with DJ Modding. I want to make sure that we showcase some of the great things that he does. Because he really does a lot for this community. And it's a lot of fun to see his projects coming to life, especially this one. I'm pretty sure this map has been around longer than DJ Goham has. So uh, definitely, if you're excited about this, hopefully this video has got you very excited. And I hope you enjoyed the video in general. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Goham fam. Double check those notification bells as well. That way... Never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you would like to check out DJ Monty for yourself, we will leave him linked in the description. Otherwise, hope you have a great, awesome rest of your day. See you guys later. Peace.